How to enable Emulex VFA multi-channel mode in UEFI setup menu. Part 1. How to create VNIC in switch independent mode. Press F1 into setup utility. Select system settings. Select network. There are two physical NIC, P NIC on this virtual fabric adapter, VFA. Select the first port to display the configuration panel. Select Emulex 10G NIC. Then go to the Emulex NIC selection menu. The multi-channel mode is set to disable by default. Select controller configuration to view the current setting. The controller configuration menu offers three choices. Select view configuration. With the multi-channel mode is set to disable, only one NIC will be shown. To change multi-channel configurations, go back to the Emulex NIC selection page. Press escape to go back. Go back to Emulex NIC selection menu. Select multi-channel mode. The multi-channel mode option offers four choices. The first three items allow you to enable VNIC mode and disable means only PNIC is available. To see more about multi-channel mode options, go to the following website. Select Switch Independent Mode. Select Controller Configuration. The Controller Configuration menu offers four choices. Select View Configuration. With multi-channel mode set to switch independent mode, four NICs will be shown. Go back to the controller configuration menu. Select the configuration bandwidth. In IBM Virtual Fabric mode and IBM UFP mode, bandwidth is set by the switch interface and not configured at the adapter. Minimum and maximum bandwidth can be set individually for each NIC. Go back to the controller configuration menu. Select Configure LPV ID. Logical port VLAN ID, LPV ID, is required for each NIC in switch independent mode, seldom used in IBM Virtual Fabric mode, and not required or configurable in IBM UFP mode. If the LPV ID is not configured, this warning message will appear. Go back to the controller configuration menu. Select Configure LPV ID. Input proper LPV ID parameter. For example, 10, 20, 40, 60. Save configuration. Select View configuration again. LPV ID has been configured. Go back to the network menu. Select the second port to configure when necessary. Each physical NIC, P NIC port is divided into up to four virtual NICs, V NICs. Select Emulex 10G NIC. Select Controller Configuration. Configure bandwidth when necessary. Configure bandwidth when necessary. Go back to the Controller Configuration menu. Configure LPV ID. Input proper LPV ID parameter. For example, 11, 13, 15, 17. Save configuration. Select View configuration. LPV ID has been configured. Once the switch independent mode configuration in UEFI is completed, press Escape to leave the UEFI setup menu. 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 Press Y to save and exit the setup utility. Press Enter to reboot. Press F1 into Setup Utility. 
Check the difference in UEFI after the switch independent mode is selected. Select system settings. Select network. There are 8 network devices at each physical NIC. PNIC port is divided into up to 4 virtual NICs, VNICs, after multi-channel mode is selected. These two NICs are the original PNIC ports. Check the configuration of the first NIC port. The network device menu offers four choices. Select Emulex 10G NIC. Select Controller Configuration. Select View Configuration. This is what was configured previously. Go back to Network menu and select the second network device. The network device menu offers four choices. Select Emulex 10G NIC. Select Controller Configuration. Select View Configuration. This is what was configured previously. Go back to the network menu and note that the remaining six network devices are VNICs. The network device menu only offers three choices for selection.